Good morning, it is a Friday and that means it's arithmetic and it's the last day of the week so we've got the weekend all to ourselves. Okay so in the arithmetic video today I'm just going to go over two things. I'm going to go over multiplication and I'm going to go over calculations with missing numbers. So let me first of all do multiplication. Okay, so I'm going to do 16 times 2, or 16 multiplied 2. In other words, double 16. Or we could say 2 lots of 16, which is double 16. Um, so there's a few different ways we can do this. Um, we're looking at 2 digit times 1 digit numbers today. So if I was to partition that, that would be a 10. So that looks like a 6. That would be a 10, and that would be a 6. So I need to do 10 times 2 and 6 times 2. So 10 twos are 20, and 6 twos are 12. Add them up. Um, Another way you could have done, you could have actually written out your twos 16 times, but you'd be there forever. Okay, so let's just look at a slightly different way. So we could just use our column multiplication method. And we do the column method for addition, and we do it for subtraction. And we can also do it for multiplication. So there's our tens, and these are our ones. So I've got now. 6 times 2, or we can say 2 times 6. So the answer is 12. And I say, right, well, it's 12 ones. So I need to carry one over and put one of those into my tens because 12 is made of 110 and 2 ones. 110, 2 ones. So in my tens column, I've got one ten and another ten. So how many tens altogether? Two. Now, is that right? What haven't I done right there? Let's just check that again. Six twos are twelve. One, two. And I just added, the, added those two together, didn't I? But what I needed to do was this calculation. So 2 times 6 is 12 and then 2 times 1 is 2. Add that 1 which is 3. Okay let's see if we can do another one using the column method. Let's do 13 times 3. Now some of you might be able to do that in your heads very quickly. Okay by partitioning it and saying, well, 10 times 3, 3 times 3, and add those together. So 10 times 3, 3 times 3. 10 times 3 is 30, and 3 times 3 is 9. So your answer would be 39. But say so good practice is to do the column method, because certainly when you do 3 digit times 1 digit, or four digit times one digit, then you definitely need something like the column method. So put my tens, ones on. So when we multiply, we always start from the bottom number and we go up. So we start on the right hand side and we start with three times three. Three, six, nine. Okay. Got rid of that three, don't need it anymore. So then we need to do three times one. So three ones are three, which is 39. So we have actually just partitioned that, but we've actually done it in a column method because we actually did three times three equals nine and three times 110, which is 30. Okay, so it's really good to do that, is to build up our skills of using 
the column method for multiplication. Okay, so we've been looking at number bonds over the last two weeks, and I've got four add something equals 10. We should all know that. It should be split second. Four add what? Six. Seven add what is 10? Three. Another way we could have done that is say, well, what's 10 take away four? Or 10 take away seven. So there's two different ways we can do that. And then just building up to 20. So we did that last week. So using our number bonds of 10, 14 add something is 20. Well, we know four add what is 10? Four add six. So we know four add six is 10. And add that 10. Sorry, I just got that bit wrong there. So we know we've got 14. Now we know four add six is 10. So therefore 14 add six is 20. And this one here, eight add something is 20. Well, we know eight to two is 10, but we need to get to 20. So 10 add what is 20? 10 add 10. So 8 add 2 is 10, add 10 equals 20. Now you've got a question like that in your test, but it's main, mainly for a something add something equals 30. Okay, so give it your best shot for those 12 questions. Uh, really important is don't, do, don't really do them all in your head. Have a go at writing them out you've got a better chance of getting an amazing score if you write them out on paper or in your book so you can just work things out, okay? Good luck.